invite His Excellency the David President. Asante ni sana. Tafadhali tuketi chini. Thank you very much. Asante ni. Um, ask of way to Ken and your dear wife. Na mchungaji Rotich na mke wako. Ndugu wa Kristo. Watu wa hapa kisi hamjambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good. And all the time. Hebu mnisalimie hewani hivi nione Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <coughs> Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi tufike hapa. Thank you very much Bishop Ken for welcoming us to this sanctuary. Um, nilipata ujumbe asubuhi ya leo kutoka Bishop Makarioki na kaniambia ni wasalimie. Uh, Bishop Mark Karioki is a spiritual father to our family. We have known him we have known him for maybe 25 years. So we've known him for quite a while. So um, I must confess I must say that because how did this church happen and I didn't come here? Huh? <laughs> I mean, surely my friends should change me because I've been to Kisi many times uh, and I should have been the first one in this church. But I guess God's timing is the best. Yes. So I am truly, truly happy that I found my way to this church. Yes. And thank you, Sylvanas. Thank you, Sylvanas, for making it possible to come here, for making it possible for me to come here. I am truly amazed at what you have done. Congratulations. Um, and I, I regret that I haven't made a contribution to the building of this church. But I guess it's never too late. <laughs> uh, but let me say again, congratulations. God has truly blessed you with a beautiful sanctuary to the glory of God. Um, I, I want to say just uh, maybe two or three things. Um, thank you, church, for raising men and women who know and love God. A son of this sanctuary, Sylvanas, is a member of my team. And I am the richer with him. And I know it is your mentorship and what you have done to him that I have the benefit of working with him. And I want to say thank you very much. Many other sons of this altar, including Buru, are, uh, Buru is like my son. In fact, I, 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 I was the father when we went to have him married. So, uh, I want to say uh, thank you very much. And I want to say the following, that um, because of men like him and many other members of parliament that uh, I work with, we have built a very big team. And it is around men like uh, Sylvanas who know the word of God that we have been reminded always to trust God. I know many of you 
whenever you see me, you, you, you wonder how I survive. Because sometimes there is too much war around me. But I want to tell you, when you see me here, you see a testimony of God's goodness. And it gives meaning to the words of Daniel 11.32 that those who know their God, they will be strong and they will do great exploits. Because we know there is God in heaven. And I want to encourage you as a church. We may have many issues, but be reminded always of the words of Daniel 11.32 so that you can stay strong and you can forge ahead. In fact, in Kiswahili it says, wale wanao mjua mungu wao watakuwa jasiri na watafanya mambo maku. So, that's my prayer for you as members of this church. <clears throat> as I have said, God has been kind to us. We have built a very big team. And I want to tell you, uh, today I work with close to 150 members of parliament from across Kenya. And it is because the words of Psalms 133 verses 1, 2, and 3, reminds us and says how good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. In another, in another scripture, it says in harmony. We are reminded as a team that though we come from different background, backgrounds, Though we come from different regions, we may come from different religions, we may come from different ethnic groups, but it is the will of God for us to work together in unity. And it is because of verse 3 that says, where there is unity, God commands a blessing. And, and that is the basis upon which God has helped us to build this team. Because it is in God's perfect will. And I want to encourage you as a church to pray for our nation so that we can build it on the foundation of unity and so that God can command a blessing upon our nation. I know many of you have heard me talk about bottom-up and you're wondering what is bottom-up? I want you to open your, your, your Bible, Psalms 113 and verses 7 and 8. And the scripture says, there you are. He raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy out of the ash heap. And it goes on to say that he may sit him with princes. And in fact, in another uh, fashion it says, he sits them with kings and princes. That is the meaning of bottom-up good people. You had Bishop here. You had Bishop here this morning speak about bottom up. At, at least, at least, at, at least I had him, because he said, "God is the lifter of men." Right. So, if you if you read the same Bible, Swahili says, "Mungu hui nua wanyonge." kutoka mavumbini. Na huyo mungu 
humfanya fukara na maskini wakaketi meza moja na wafalme and that is the basis of what we are discussing that it is possible for us to lift the jobless to lift the people with small businesses and we can all move together without leaving anybody behind and it is my prayer that god will give us the wherewithal the knowledge the capacity to be able to lift men and women in accordance with his word finally uh, i i haven't said uh, i haven't said anything out of line bishop have i i'm still there <laughs> Finally, uh, brethren, let me, let me challenge you first by saying thank you very much for praying for us. I know you pray for our country. I know you pray for us as leaders. And when you see me here standing, it's an answered prayer. It confirms if you didn't have any confirmation that your prayers are answered if you look at me then you can see an answered prayer and I want to tell you just like Galatians 6 9 and 10 says Galatians says uh, chapter 6 and verses 9 do not tire of doing good right for in season you shall reap if we do not faint I want to tell you as church do not tire of doing good. Continue to pray for our nation. But I also want to tell you uh, what chapter 10 or verse 10 of the same chapter says. It says, while you have opportunity, let us do good to all men. Right? Yes. But then it says, especially, yeah, especially. Yes, I don't want to say more than that. <laughs> I am telling you to do good to all men, but especially to those of the household of faith. So that as you pray for this nation, pray so that God can raise men and women who know God in the leadership of our nation. That is uh, my very humble request uh, to you as a church. And uh, I want to promise you that we will not let you down. We know what we believe in and we are unapologetic and we are unashamed of our faith. Uh, Bishop said something very profound that we have many of us uh, politicians now coming to church. Please welcome all of us to church. It is also my contribution on evangelism. I am evangelizing the people in my corner. So when you see them come to church, please receive them and preach the word of God to them. It's the only opportunity you have to show them God. I know they come with a lot of noise sometimes. Uh, I was told by one bishop that uh, one politician came to church and because he had been invited as the guest of honor, he went and right uh, and sat straight on the bishop's chair because he thought that was the one for the guest of honor. <laughs> but uh, those are just minor mistakes. Why do I say so, uh, bishop? If you... Uh, if you read Philippians on, on 
on on how evangelism evolved paul says to philippians chapter 1 and verses 15 17 to 18 he says there are those who preach the word out of goodwill but there are those who preach the word of god out of strife and out of envy in fact paul says there are even those who preach the word of god out of pretense but he doesn't begrudge them he says so long as the word of god is being preached because that's the experience of Paul, you know. So thank you very much, church, for welcoming us. We are at home when we are uh, in church. I have said continue to pray for our nation. And we will also continue to pray for you as you stand in the gap for our nation. Uh, finally, um, I am a product of prayer and giving. And if there is one thing God has taught me in politics, is the art of giving. I didn't learn it in church. I learned it in politics. And I want to remind you that uh, when you are asked by bishop to give, I want to remind you the words of uh, Acts. Acts 20.35 says, it is Jesus Christ himself it is not the bishop you know uh, i think it's up there and remember that be and remember the words of the lord jesus that he said in in another fashion it says jesus christ himself that he said it is more blessed to give than to receive so it's not the words of the bishop it is not the words of men it's the words of Christ himself. And that is the secret many people have not discovered. And that is why they complain a lot when others give. Bishop, you have done, and your team here, you have done a wonderful, uh, you have done a wonderful church. You have done a wonderful church. As I said, uh, it is uncommon and I regret that I haven't made a contribution. But today I have a million shillings for, for as my contribution. And, and because I have seen uh, your commitment, uh, you know, I, you've heard that I have chicken, right? <laughs> 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 so nitapanga hiyo ya kuuza mayai nitatuma huyu kijana tena alete another 1 million ya ya kanisa hii <laughs> because i am truly truly blessed uh, from from what I have seen in this uh, in this great sanctuary uh, thank you very much for everything that uh, has happened uh, and if there is anything that has been said that is not correct Bishop so asante ni sana na watakia baraka ya mungu Okay, everybody seated right there. Uh, just, just one minute only. One minute. Your Excellency, I know you have many Bibles. You have been given so many Bibles. We have a gift for you of a Bible. There is nothing different except.
and bless you. Thank you so very much. God bless you so very much. Thank you, Dr. We also have a giraffe from all the way from Tabaka. This one, it is the tallest animal. We believe your vision is big. <laughs> so kindly receive it from us in Jesus' name. Thank you so very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And the ladies have a rhino for mama. For mama. Please receive it from the ladies. Thank you so very much. Uh, thank you so, so very much. Really appreciate it. Would you talk to me, Pastor? Because I hear people singing outside. You will see how to do it. Okay, I want to speak a blessing and everybody will be seated. You will allow me with His Excellency to just walk down and then the people will gather. If they are, you are gathered outside, they will talk and speak to His people and listen to Him. And Kenya needs God-fearing men. God bless you. Shall we lift up our hands as we are seated, please? Father, I speak a blessing to everybody right now and I pray that your hand will be each one of us and may your presence go with us and Father, we pray for the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya that God, the way you have preserved him, you will keep on preserving him and his vision and his dream. Lord, bring it to fruition. Lord, help him and help all the members of parliament and all the team that is working with and every leader that came here. I bless every man and woman in Jesus' name. And we all said, Amen. Amen.